is the new part. Honda. I recommend for the engine mounts, just buy Honda parts. Yes, they cost more, but it's a unique rubber that's needed for the balance of these vehicles. Here is the old mount. For reference, if I back up, you can see here's the front of the car, engine cover. All right, so here is the engine mount in the front of the car looking down, right on top, very easy to get to. There are uh, only five 14 millimeter bolts. So one, you can kind of see on the side here, two, three, and the back side of Right down there, um, four, and on the front side, five, down here. We have a 17 millimeter bolt. This is what holds the mount to the engine uh, piece. You want to get that off first. It's hard to get that off if you take the mount off first. And we have one little bolt down here on the side. Oh, sorry for the wiggling. Uh, let's see, where is that? Right here. That's a I think that's a 12, it could be 11 or a 10, but that small one has to come off too. It holds a, one of the uh, wiring looms in place. All right. All right, first, first bolt to come out is that 10 millimeter. It is right there on the side. It holds the wiring loom in place. The wiring loom likes to bounce back right in its way. So I have to do two hands, but it's pretty easy to get out. Next up is that 17 millimeter. We just need to crack this off. Okay, this 17 millimeter is very tight. I had to use a long wrench to get it. Um, very handy for tight spaces. So crack that off. No need to pull it all the way out yet. Um, Right now it is fairly loose. All right, next we're gonna tack, tackle the five 14 millimeter bolts right there. One, two, three, four, and five. For that backside bolt, I do have a 14 millimeter on two wobbles, two wobble extensions. Just because it's in kind of an awkward spot down in there. And it's a little bit behind the bracket. So make sure that the 14 millimeters seated on there well. Then I'll crank that up. All right, got three of those bolts out. There they are. The final two are on the bracket that's attached to the engine. Notice these bolts are a bit. Alright, at this point the engine mount should be loose. It is. It's just a matter of finding a way to stitch it out of the engine. Um, probably the easiest way is to move this hose down, out of the way. You can pull this uh, power steering reservoir up and out to make a bit more wiggle room. Uh, but I'm going to use two hands to do this because that can be awkward. Once you have the mount out, you need to transfer that aluminum bracket to the new piece. Easy peasy. And there we have it. <clears throat> Looks kind of the same as before. Be sure you plug your wiring harness back in to that clip. Uh, I don't have torque specs for all these bolts. Um, they didn't feel particularly hard. Um, I would guess around 40 to 50, maybe 45 uh, foot-pounds, but it's hard to say. I'm going to drive the car for a little bit, come back and recheck all the tightness, and uh, call it done.